Welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It's a cold one here today in Pennsylvania. It's about 15 degrees, and I just checked the uh, forecast, and they're actually bumping up the uh, snowfall predictions for tomorrow night, so we'll see what happens there. But before we get started, I had a great idea. I really did. I think this will be a lot of fun. A couple years ago, we asked people to send in pictures of them and their tractor or just their tractor and we had hundreds of people send in pictures and we included them in a video so we're going to do the same thing once again when you send your pictures in send them to pics p-i-c-s-o-w-t-m at gmail.com and make sure that your pictures are horizontal not vertical and make sure that the pictures are in the email if i have to go to some server or something and download them it may not happen so make sure the pictures are in the email and uh, we'll probably include them in a video probably in the next week or two someday when i have some time early in the morning or something i'll put something together but it's a lot of fun for us at least seeing what you guys do uh, you know you always see what we're doing so send in those pictures pics owtm at gmail.com and uh, we'll get them in a video and uh, it'll be a good time. That'll be a lot of fun. So don't hit anything while on camera. <laughs> That's good. So how's business, Logan? Business has been good. It's been a challenging year to say the least getting stuff getting stuff exactly uh the orders are out anywhere from a month up to a year to year and a half really depending on if you want a sidekick if you want a bx tractor an l series construction it's uh it's been challenging land pride is uh about 10 months out on order yeah so it's gonna be an interesting 2022 but it's been a busy year yeah good a lot of people buying snow blowers this weekend snow blowers have been hit or miss uh, we've got a few that have went out so far but if Monday once all the snow hits they'll be going out the door quick yeah for our area here I always just use like a plow or a blade you know we don't get big snows that often but they are nice to have if you have you know a blower yes. yeah they are the ticket but. anything once you hit that four to six inch mark having the snow blower yeah. makes it much easier yeah well i appreciate it absolutely thank, thank you again so i just left uh m r power equipment i bought a small rear blade for the bx i've been wanting to get one and this one's kind of a light duty blade. I don't see the need for a real heavy duty blade for such a small tractor, uh, but it'll be nice for like backfilling trenches, a little bit of grading, and for snow work. I'm gonna put that blade on the BX and a uh, pusher box on the front. And if we do get a bunch of snow, I'll do a couple videos, you know, showing plowing with the sidekick and the plow, uh, showing plowing with the BX of the pusher box. I always say, you know pusher box is for parking lot plows are for roads and that's usually uh how i see things i used to plow a lot of snow i did a uh, lowe's store i had that contract for about 10 years i was using mostly a uh, skid steer two speed on tires and a uh, 10 foot pusher box initially i used a blizzard snow plow with the power angle wings on it it worked really well but i could just carry more snow with the uh, pusher box so if we do get some snow you'll see some videos coming up you know plowing with a big tractor side by side and a subcompact it should be uh, pretty good information if someone is looking to buy you know snow removal equipment and like Logan and I were talking there at MNR uh, around here you don't see too many people with snow blowers just because we don't get a lot of snow I mean we might get I think the average for our area is about 48 or 50 inches of snow per season but usually it comes or two or three inches at a time and uh like he said i think the blower really shines when you get four or five six inches or more but uh i just never really had a need for one for around our place so this is the uh, rear blade for the bx like i said this is kind of a medium duty or a light duty blade but they're not very heavy tractors so uh i think it should work great for like I said, backfilling trenches, 
and for snow in combination with the pusher box but this is the RB0560 60 being 60 inches I also got a new excavator for grandson Ty I think he's gonna freak when he sees this I got the uh, BX set up. Got this pusher box on it here. That's a five footer. And a five foot rear blade. I just came up to the house for a minute before I do my uh, afternoon wood splitting. Get yourself a Outdoors with the Morgans, find your things in life, or Outdoors with the Morgans, believe in yourself. Go to the website, Outdoors with the Morgans, hit the shop, and there you can shop. Yeah, I'll shorts. put a link in the description. We have these in short sleeve and long sleeve, and we have a new one coming out, so check it out. So one more thing we wanted to talk about, a lot of people have been asking about uh, daughter Eva, and she is doing absolutely fantastic uh, she had her surgery when was that january 4th january 4th over a week ago over a week ago and it has been amazing she's uh, been doing great we're so happy because eva's always been very pleasant she's got a great sense of humor she's very funny but it's almost like she's a different kid right now i asked her the other day you know are her headaches gone and all that and she said yeah but she said even when i didn't have headaches before I always had like pressure in my head and this has been bothering her for a very long time yeah but uh, man she healed up quick yeah. uh, they say four to six weeks and she's ready to go right now we kind of have to like slow her down a little bit huh yeah because then she gets herself tired out and you know we all know that rest is part of the recovery yeah so she's doing well thank you so much for all your prayers you offered on her behalf and all the cards to get well cards and the gifts that you sent her very very kind but i truly believe the power of your prayers have helped yeah. her recover so well it, it's amazing it really is and uh believe it or not i think her incision did heal faster than i made a joke about that i said don't be healing too fast i think it did heal faster than my finger but the finger is doing very well uh yeah i just gotta keep for a june recovery on that a finger. june recovery on the finger probably be a little before that but but yeah that's the update on eva May. All is well, she's doing great, we couldn't be happier.
that's more wood in the wood bunker. That's a good thing. I think I'm going to get with my buddy Adam and uh, get some more of those IBC totes. I think we've got 14 of them filled up so far. And I got a few stragglers at a few neighbors I need to get picked up. But it'd be nice to have about 25 of those full. And then I think what we'll do is start taking some of this wood out of here and stacking it actually in the wood shed. I've never really had any firewood in the wood shed. But I'll come in here with that firewood bucket, scoop it up, take it over there, stack it in there, and then spend, uh, you know, the rest of the winter just getting this all filled up again. But anyway, I think that's it for today's video. A couple things before I wrap this up. Uh, T-shirts, there'll be a link in the description. And don't forget, January 28th at 1.30 p.m., Melissa and I will be at Messick's in Mount Joy, PA for a meet and greet if anyone would like to stop and say hi. So... But anyway, like always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, share them with your friends. Thanks.